The only thing that I want shiny on my face is my lip gloss and my highlighter. Everything else needs to be matte. It's Hannah and welcome back to my channel or hi hello if you're new here. If you're new here, hi hello and welcome. Today's video I'm going to be talking to you all all about my oily skin routine. So I'm going to be showing you all my foundation routine that I do for my oily skin and how I prep my skin for foundation because I don't know about y'all but I've noticed here on YouTube even when I was first starting to watch YouTube there really wasn't a whole lot of videos on here about people with oily skin like what to do whatnot and I have very very really oily skin I also have very oily hair as well so I just thought since I do have such oily skin that I probably should do kind of like a video on what I do to prep my skin before I put on my foundation because a lot of the times if you have really oily skin like I do your oil is going to peek through your foundation um, I'm also going to give you guys some tips on how to keep your face shine free for a good at six plus hours so if you're very interested in learning my tips and knowing what I do to control my oily skin then just keep on watching this video. So if we hear any loud noises in this video I really want to apologize for them really quickly. There are some people in my front yard and over here to the side they are cutting down some trees for some type of a road project. Don't really know. Um, apparently our trees were in the way so they are unfortunately cutting them down which is really sad but I just thought that I would go ahead and get this filmed today because I literally have no other day to film it. And the very first thing that I start out with whenever I'm prepping my skin for foundation is an oil blotting sheet. Um, these are just from e.l.f. These come in a pack of 50 and you can get these normally at Walmart or Target for about a dollar or two. Now, I really like to purchase these on the e.l.f. website whenever e.l.f. does their little sale that they do in, I think it's in July. Could be end of July, like the 1st of August because they'll have these marketed down on their website for 50 cents, which is not bad at all. So I definitely recommend checking out these because they do a terrific job at blotting off your face. I also keep a packet in my purse just to touch up with throughout the day. And I always get the oiliest on my forehead. Um, my skin is literally so greasy and oily that you could just drain my skin of all the oil and literally fry chicken with it. Like that is how greasy and just oily my skin is. My hair is oily. My skin is oily. I'm just a very, very oily person and I notice a lot of people here on YouTube, they don't really have oily skin. Most of them have dry skin so there's really not a whole lot of tutorials out there for people like myself that have really overly oily skin. So I feel like doing a oil blotting sheet before you put on your foundation to blot off the excess oil really does a good job at controlling it. Now that we have blotted off that excess oil, it is just going to help our primer and our foundation and everything just really lay it nicely on the skin and it's going to give it a good matte surface to work with. Let's go in with primer next. I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I really like this primer, but I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. It doesn't really do anything to really make the oil on your skin look less noticeable. It doesn't make your face look shiny, but it really just doesn't do a good job at controlling the oil. But it still is a really good primer, and the reason why I like this one is because it really does improve the longevity of my foundation. Now, I have a couple of primers in my collection that I'm going to give a try really, really soon. I just want to finish this one up before I open up a new one, just because I try to only have one primer opened at a time. So I normally just squeeze out a tiny little bit onto my finger and just really use my fingertips to apply the primer and I mostly just focus it everywhere on my face just because well obviously this is what you do with primer and the reason why I do like this primer is because it's not super thick and it's not super sticky either it feels very very thin and very lightweight which is why I really like that primer so if you're able to pick that up I definitely recommend that you should I'm using a little sample size of it 
Um, I probably will return to that primer one day in the future, but like I said, after I use that one up, I do have more primers that I really want to give a try. So the next thing that I'm about to do might really wig some of you out, and some of you probably are going to think that I'm really crazy for doing this, but this is something that I have started to do in my routine, and I really noticed a difference with this. I took this tip from my brother's girlfriend. And that is to put a very thin layer of translucent powder on your face before you apply your foundation. So hear me out and here's the reasons why I prefer to do this. One, some of you might be going to school or to work during the day. You don't always have time to check up on your face to check and see if your makeup looks oily or if it looks shiny. So you might not have that time to really de-oil your skin. So this could be a really good hack for you because ever since I have been doing this, my face gets um, oily less, which is a really good thing. And I find that I don't have to reapply my powder as often and I find that I don't have to blot my skin as often either. So this is a really good tip that I feel like most of you could have. And like I said, you just use a very, very tiny, thin amount. The powder that I'm using is the Hard Candy Sheer In Me Translucent Powder. You can pick this up at Walmart for like a couple of dollars. This is an amazing translucent powder. I really love how very thin it is, but it's very good at like controlling the oil, which is why I like it. So what I do is I just normally just dump a little bit of it into the cap and then apply it with a powder puff um, to the area of my forehead because my forehead is where I get the most oily at. So I'm just going to take this little powder poof that I got off of Amazon, and I'm just going to get a very, very thin layer of this applied to my forehead because I don't really do the whole extremature of my face just because the only problems that I do have with being oily is up here. Sometimes I'll drag it down to my nose as well because my nose does kind of have a problem a little bit with getting a little oily throughout the day as well. Some of you might have issues with your foundation not sticking on your nose. Um, if you do have that issue, please leave me a comment down below. And I will try to get a video up for y'all about ways that you can make your makeup last longer on your nose and to keep it from rubbing off if that's something that you would be interested in. We are finally at the foundation step and I cannot be more thrilled. I know that y'all probably are too. So the foundation that I'm gonna be using today is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I really like this foundation. The only thing that I really don't like about it is one, I don't like the fact that it smells like paint. It smells disgusting and just absolutely horrible. But once you get it blended out on your face and it does dry down, you don't smell the paint smell anymore. Um, and another thing that I also did not like about this paint foundation for a very long time was that it is not a very good long wearing foundation whatsoever. Um, and it does kind of have a tendency to break up on your face if you really don't use a good primer. So that is why I really, really recommend using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I find that all the primers that I have tried with this foundation, this one just works the best with it. And it really does improve the longevity and it keeps it from breaking up on my face. So I'm just gonna use that today and I'm just going to be blending it out using this little e.l.f. Beauty Flay Fair Blending Brush. I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but this foundation has a light to medium coverage. I normally just build it up to about a medium coverage because that's what I prefer. But if you prefer something a little bit lighter, um, you definitely can achieve that with this foundation. And it also is a good matte foundation as well. Um, it doesn't contribute to the oil on your skin or anything like that. It does an amazing job at really mattifying your skin. I'm going to be using my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer underneath my eyes. The reason why I really like this concealer is because it is a good full coverage concealer and since I've gotten a little bit older, my dark circles have definitely gotten a lot darker and it just does not matter how much sleep I get in the night. It just seems like my dark circles just will not go away and let up. I really like this shade. This is in the shade at light sand. This isn't too light on me and this also isn't too dark either. Um, it's not exactly like a perfect match to 
my skin tone because I really don't like a really, really bright under eye. But I also really don't like for my under eyes to kind of be like the same shade as my foundation. So I really like the shade White Sand because it's not too light and it's not too dark. It's kind of like that perfect little match. And I also really just like the fact that this does have a jumbo applicator. I don't know if I said that already or not. And something that I actually have learned with under eye concealer is something that I picked up from Tati here on YouTube is to just apply a little bit of concealer just underneath the inner corners of your eyes just to brighten that little corner and then you can just kind of like spread it out and blend it out underneath your eye and the reason why you put just a little bit underneath your inner corner is because it's really not too much product and it's not too little of a product it's literally just the perfect amount because I feel like when you do use that whole triangle method, that's just way too much concealer. And the little dotting method, that's really not enough concealer. So this is really a good little method that I did learn from her is to just kind of add just a little bit into the inner corner. Going back in with that same powder that we just used to apply to my forehead area and I'm just going to be applying that underneath my eyes just to set that concealer in place. A another thing that I also really like about that concealer as well is a lot of people said that it felt really thick underneath their eyes and that it looks really cakey. I really don't find that and I find that if you do just use like a tiny little bit in the inner corner like I did, it really doesn't look cakey. So if you're having a problems with that concealer, I definitely recommend just going in with a thinner layer just because it is so full coverage. When you think about it, you really don't need a whole lot to begin with. So just try working with just a little bit of it instead and see if you like working with it in that way. Um, that concealer is a concealer that some people really love or some people really hate. Like I said, I personally really love it. I also just realized too that I have a pimple right here on my jawline area. So that's always awesome for me. I just love it whenever pimples just decide out of nowhere to just pop up and just be like, Hey Hannah, we're gonna have a pimple vacation here right here on your face. I hope that's okay. It's really annoying, but it is what it is. Everybody gets pimples occasionally. So now that my makeup is done, here is what my skin looks like. And the great thing about this is that my skin is going to stay oil-free and shine-free for a good six hours, which is a major plus for me because before this routine, I was reapplying my powder and touching up and blotting up the oil on my face every two hours. I also learned that the skincare products that I was learning was using was contributing to some of the oil on my face. So since switching up my skincare routine a bit more, um, my skin has greatly improved in that region. So those are my major tips for y'all is another thing that I would really recommend is changing up your skincare routine. And just because our faces are oily does not mean that we should not moisturize our skin because we definitely should morning and night just because our faces are so oily because they're making up for all that excess oil that we kind of didn't put back into our body when we didn't moisturize if that makes sense so yeah um thank you all so much for watching this video i greatly appreciate it and if you would like to see more videos like this from me in the future be sure to hit that subscribe button down below come and be a part of my hannacorns because i post and upload new videos every thursdays and saturdays at 9 45 a.m. Eastern Times, and also be sure to follow me on my social media as well. I'll have a little thing right here on the side of the screen, so that way you all can see it, read it, and you'll know to follow me and keep up with me on social media, especially my Instagram and Twitter, because that is where I am the most active at. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video, and I will see you all in my next video really, really soon. Bye, my little handle